Hello, everyone. Is my mic on? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Oh my goodness. It's Embroidery Club Day. Whoop, whoop. Yay. And I'll just preface this. Stacy lost her voice. <laughs> Not a squeaky voice. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to be, I'll just be the mime in the background. <laughs> I was like, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Seriously, there's nothing She's wrong not with me. She's not sick. I not made sick. sure. I just lost my voice. So. <laughs> now you I'm squeaky. What? You just sang um, some songs in the car yeah. like too much. Just had too much fun over Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. Hello, everyone. Let's see. Linda. Linda and Linda. Linda from Logan and Linda from Tennessee. There we go. And Godfrey, Debbie Johnson, Mindy from Arizona. Mel said too funny. <laughs> that squeaky, it's like of the sexy all man voice, days, right? <laughs> of all days. I know. I thought about calling you this weekend saying just giving you the heads up. I might not be have a voice on Tuesday. <laughs> I was like, well, that's okay. It, it adds more to the, to just, the video, like right? I'll just stand here. <laughs> right. Well, welcome to Virtual Embroidery Club. We're super excited for today. This one's a fairly simple, I, I would say one of the simpler oh, yeah. fill in the blanks. But I've got some things to show you about like what to put this design on, which is really fun. Um, so a little bit about what Virtual Embroidery Club is. We don't necessarily, well, we could do this project start to finish with you because like I said, it's it, there's not a whole lot to it, um, but it's super cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, so we give you tips and tricks on how to uh, uh, stitch out these designs, how to finish up the project, all of that. Um, and then we talk a little bit about machine embroidery and uh, what's coming up in the machine embroidery world. And uh, all day today, you get 15% off everything machine embroidery on our website at mygirlfriendsquiltshop.com. So Those fingers are ready to Seriously. Go. <laughs> like, if you have been eyeing some things like... Uh, Stabilizers. Sta well, duh. duh. Stabilizers. No, Stabilizers. You need them, right? But we'll talk about stabilizers um, in a little. <laughs> um, or like the Kimberbell slap bands, their uh, deluxe scissor set. Uh, I mean, just about Embroidery everything. Leather. And it's not just Kimberbell that's on sale. I mean, a, a lot of what we're talking about is Kimberbell because it's the June fill in the blank from Kimberbell Designs. But you get 15% off everything machine embroidery on our website. So, I mean, go crazy, right? It's super fun. It's, it's the day you've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. I was just seeing if there's any comments. It's going to give a little bit of time for people to get on. I know it's 9 a.m. in Utah. It's 8 a.m. on the Pacific time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I had to think for a second. It's like, um... Oh, my gosh, you guys. Yeah, it, it hasn't been busy for you at all. No, it's not. Weeks. And now I have to adjust to a different time zone pretty soon. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'll be in Eastern time. Is that Eastern time? Yeah. Time? Ohio oh, is Eastern time, so be getting up early for. <laughs> I know. I'll be texting you guys like at my nine a.m., but it'll be seven a.m. Yeah, your time. I'll be like, Jess, we're all still go asleep. to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, and I'm not trying to make this sad, but this is my last embroidery I, club. I try not to think about it because then I'll start crying. Oh, I know. It, but I'm really excited to be here and do this this project with you guys i'm and i'm not going away forever you no, guys like it's not like she's disappearing off the face of the earth <laughs> right chris she's no she's still no i'm still, she's much still a part, part of, of girlfriends yeah so. yeah oh it's lunchtime in georgia yep it's 11 there Eastern. hey tell your mom chris we need to get a cardboard cut out of jess so when we do embroidery club down here i can just have her in the background. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and I'll record myself exactly. saying <laughs> different things, and you'll just click it, and I'll I'll just talk. have you on, on um, the cell phone, Yeah, and it'll look like you're There we here. go. There we go. All right. Super fun. Yeah. Um, 
you can see in the description of the video um, a little bit about what we're doing. Uh, we're going to do the June fill in the blank from Kimberbell Designs. And then there is a coupon code, which is written there. It's Embroidery Club 15. Um, I know, we shout it out to the world. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get gotta get those deals. All right, so should we just get right into it? We have, oh, I have a lot to talk about today. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I have a lot that I wanted to tell you guys because I'm super excited about this week, next week, what's coming up for my girlfriend's so home many shop. Fun so, things coming up. I'm really excited. Um, but first off, the main, the main attraction. This is the June fill in the blank. It is small fry, and Stacy, you did a great job. Okay, now this is my favorite, and I'm going to tell you why. Because my daughter just got married last September, I think it was, mm -hmm. and my last name is Van Monfrans, so it's super long. And we always <laughs> joked. Now there's a point to the story and this, so I'm not on a tangent, but. I told her she's got to marry somebody with, you know, a shorter last name. Well, guess what she married? She married a fry. Did she really? So when she has a baby, I can small fry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop. So uh, when I that saw this, so I'm like, perfect. this is so perfect for her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> small fry. <laughs> I, you and know, that's how she spells it. F-R-Y. I, I just realized that too. That your daughter's last name is now Fry. Yeah, that so is fry. so fun. So I said, when you, when you get pregnant, this is how we'll announce it. <laughs> well, small fry. Well, small fry. Thanks, Kimberbell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they already knew. How did you know? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's super fun. So yes, this is the small fry. Here, let me pull this up to the screen a little bit more. Small fry. It's a thing of fries. And I love the little accent in the middle, and it's with um, Kimberbell's embroidery leather, which is super fun. So we'll bring it down to the table right here, and we'll talk a little bit about this. Um, sorry, my mic is like I'm <laughs> dragging your dragging <laughs> your shirt down. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Yes. All right. So. Uh, this is the small fry design. There you go, super fun. And there's, um, let's grab these real quick. So there's like a blue version or a red version, which is really fun. So it depends on the little uh, So she's talking leather. about like, yeah, the background leather of the fries. It's so it's really either blue cute. or red. Love it, love it. So that those are the two. Um, colorways I guess but there's also different colorways because um, if you bought um, in the month of May if you bought a baby bodysuit from Kimberbell um, the gray or the the what do they call this the peach blushing peach um, you got this free design so super fun um, but I want to talk a little bit about the body suits, the baby body suits. And I'm going to, actually I have one open already. Uh, so I don't open another package. <laughs> How many have I'm opened? a little guilty. <laughs> I'm a little guilty of this. So um, there's actually two that come in a package. There's a stripe and a polka dot, which I just love both. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that they give us <laughs> both of them. Um, and they come like this, but not only are they really cute, Kimberbell thought of how to make this easy. So machine embroiders, you already know that hooping baby body suits, baby onesies, whatever you call them, they you are super hard, right? You have to- Like finagle it and- And it might um, create some, um, Puckering, puckering or... right in the middle because it's hard to get it flat well and I mean sometimes people would like undo the side and yep. put it on their coop but then you don't have that nice finished edge um, from it and that's where Kimberbell the, the geniuses that they are <laughs> thought of this where it is surged 
on the side so it's open. So oh. this side is sewn together, the other side is surged and open. So then you can just pull this back. There we go. And now you can embroider and it lays super flat. easily. Yeah. Lays really flat and you can just like roll this over. And I mean, it's so easy to embroider on this now. And then when you're done, all you do is you just sew up the sides. And so they alleviated so the step of having to seam rip. Right, right. At the beginning. So nice. And I love that, like, how soft they are. I mean, they are high quality. They are. I <laughs> Baby body suits. I love it. Um, somebody asked, can the leather go through the laundry? Yes, it can. It does. Yep. In fact, I washed, I didn't, I got this wet. And you'll see after yeah. we finish what I mean by why I got it wet. Yep. It, th these things can go through the washer. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. Um, all right. So that's just a little bit of background on the baby body suits. And today we're going to show you how to um, make one of these. But let, 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 let's, let's have a heart to heart here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to say. Let's have a heart to heart. I want you to think beyond the baby. Think beyond the, beyond baby, the baby. Right? Because I know there, there's a lot of us that may not have any like newborns or babies in our lives, or you may not know anyone that has a baby. And you're like, why would I buy a baby bodysuit? Can't I just have the design, right? Yeah, exactly. Right? I don't have any babies in my life right now. Not yet. Not yet. Right? Wait for that small fry. <laughs> <laughs> but I know all of you, the majority of you, might have a fur baby. Oh, definitely. You guys. A little puppy or maybe not a little puppy, maybe a big puppy. <laughs> you can get the bigger bodysuit. But um, I actually put, made one for my dog, which I know I saw. That was so if you watched comments sold last week, I had my little Millie join us and it was super fun. And I thought, you know, sorry, mom, you don't have any grandbabies right now, but you have fur babies and I can, I can make something for that, right? And so what I did is instead of embroidering it on the front, I did it on the back. So then you could see the design on the, on the back of my dog. And then I could have left <laughs> that would have been the funny. little <laughs> straps, but it'd been a little bit hard for her to go outside to the bathroom. So it, yeah, and I don't want it soiled, so. <laughs> You didn't want to add a diaper on top of it. Right, right. I think my dog is like enough. A sweater is enough, right? Um, so what I did is I just cut off the bottom right here and I just hemmed it. And it was so cute. So it's like a little t-shirt for your dog. Exactly. It was so cute. I And you know what? Millie did like it. She didn't complain so because it's soft <laughs> it's Who soft. Would complain? it's soft so i want you to think beyond just the baby right or um even if you don't do this design on the bodysuit hey you've got something in your stash to use when suddenly your neighbor who's having a newborn and you're like oh my goodness what am i gonna do there you go you've got a bodysuit Oh, yes, a sport bag sport for, sure. bag for T ball. That would be really cute. You can put these on t shirts. Didn't uh, you say like a lunch bag? Like, you know, those. Yes. If you do, like, you make lunch bags for your kids. That would be way cute. Small fry. I, I just want you to think beyond what the original pattern mm -hmm. was, right? Um, because we're, we're quilters, we're sewers, we're machine embroiderers. We're always trying to think of new and different ways to use the designs because they're like in our library, right? We own the designs, we have them. Let's use them for other things other than what maybe the designer had exactly. it made for. Okay, there we go. Well, There's my little spiel. I just like 
all you guys out there, you are so creative. When I look at our, our my girlfriend's page or the Clark yes. page, and I see what you guys have done, it blows my mind. I know. How creative. I know. So I want to see what you guys come up with as well for this and post your pictures because it's a lot of fun. And I'll, I'll post a picture of my little Millie and her thing. I took a, a, a good picture of her in it, so <laughs> I'll do that. But... All right, let's get started on this design. There was a question. Oh, is there a question? Uh, do we, should we pre-wash the bodysuits before? Should we pre-wash the bodysuits before embroidery? Um, that's a personal preference, honestly. I've, I've heard some people, yeah, I've heard half and half. Like, yeah. A lot of people do, and mm -hmm. it, yeah, so it's... It's totally up to you. Personal preference. It's kind of like, do you wash your fabric before you start quilting? Right. You know, so. And I know a lot of people, like, before they have babies, you wash all their clothes before, so. Yeah. Yeah. You could just ask the person, or maybe yeah. not, don't well, ask. Well, it, it washes wash it. well. I mean, mm -hmm. I got this wet and was washing it away, and it still looks just great. Yeah. It didn't. So. It didn't shrink. Nope. That much so if you're worried about it you can just air dry it instead of putting it through the dryer yeah that's what i did i just air dried it and just needs to be ironed but when you iron it make sure you put something on top so someone asked how did i finish for the puppy um i just cut this off and i hemmed the edge and then yes i did put my dog's legs through these because <laughs> it was so cute it was so cute so all right so many of you might be wondering, how do we hoop this, right? I mean, this is pretty, pretty neat, but how do you get it on the hoop? So let's, let's talk a little bit about this. This is Kimberbell wash away sticky back stabilizer. Say that 10 times fast, right? Wash away sticky back stabilizer. And um, you'll definitely want sticky back for this and wash away because you don't want the uh the stabilizer to uh to stay in for the if you're going to use it for uh, a baby sorry <laughs> i lost my train of thought there for a second um, so it's washed away you don't even see yep and we'll talk a little bit about what you can do to cover up the stitches on the back so it doesn't irritate the baby's skin or the fur baby's fur right okay so We'll talk a little bit about that, but you definitely want wash away um, stabilizer and even better if it's sticky back, okay? Um, if, you, if you only have wash away, you can use like a 505 spray mm -hmm. or something to adhere it, but it just gets messy. I, I just recommend getting the stuff that yeah that's easy to use, right? So this is wash away sticky back stabilizer and you need a five by seven hoop. Um, and I'm going to show you a little trick. I know it's so funny. I feel like every embroidery club I'm showing this trick, but it's my favorite. So five by seven hoop or four by four? Oh, uh, that is a good question, actually. <laughs> Let's see, you guys. I oh, I think it's a. Uh... Is it a four, by four? four by four. I don't know. Do you want to check on that? I actually am going to talk a little bit about okay. um, prepping the bodysuit. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> We're kind of all, all over the place <laughs> right now, but that's okay. Let's talk about prepping the bodysuit, how to center your design um, and hoop it the correct way. So from Kimberbell's instructions, it wants us to... Uh, let's see. Oh, we got my four by four. It's the four by four. I found the I found the front pages. <laughs> Good four by four hoop, you guys. There we go. Um, which is awesome because everyone should have a four by four hoop, right? With machine embroidery. Okay, so the first thing that it wants us to do is turn the bodysuit um, wrong side out. So you have um, it laid out flat right here, and you're just going to turn it inside out somebody was asking if we should use like the fusible back on it before mm -hmm. i didn't use fusible back on mine no you are i mean 
You don't need it for the leather. You could use it for the uh, fries, but it's such a dark yellow. I mean, for this one, it won't really show. Yeah, I didn't use so, it, and it's just one less layer right. against the baby's skin. Right. So I... Up to you. Personal up to preference. You. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. So we have turned it um, inside out. And, um, but you will see in the, in the picture, it wants you to have the label of the bodysuit. So here we go. There's the label. It wants it to have it face up. Okay. And trust me, just read the directions, <laughs> read the instructions. follow the pictures because, um, you may not think it makes sense, but it does. It works out okay so we have it inside out the label at the top and now it wants us to carefully fold the bodysuit in half lengthwise back sides together so I'm just going to fold it over okay and it doesn't have to be perfect okay no worries and you're going to press um, this edge so I'm just gonna Give it a quick press just to kind of hold that, okay? And now it wants us to measure five inches down from the top of the bodysuit. So let me get my ruler, okay? So I'm going to measure five inches from the top of the bodysuit. So we might feel like we need to do it from here where that curve is, you want to do it at the very top. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> or else it's going to be a small fry on the belly. <laughs> Which would be cute. That would be really you know. cute too. That would That's be cute. That's where it goes. So we're going to go five inches. So right here, I'm going to just do, I'm going to use a water soluble pen and just do a little mark right there. Okay. And now I'm going to fold this down where I made that mark. And you can check yourself too by this. Five inches, you guys. All right, and then you're going to press this edge. And this is how to prepare the bodysuit for, uh, for hooping, okay? So it looks a little wonky right now. You're like, how is this gonna work? <laughs> Trust me, it does, okay? So I'll just repeat that again. I turned it right side out. The label is at the top. I fold it in half lengthwise, pressed right here, measured five inches down from the top, and I fold it over, okay? And gave this a press. Jessica, somebody asked, does the size of bodysuit make a difference when doing this? Oh, does the size of bodysuit make a difference when doing this? Nope, it does not you will still follow the five inches down. Okay, that's a great question. So, uh, no, you do not need to adjust the measurements for that. Nope. Or if you want it on the belly, you could. Yeah, <laughs> you could. <laughs> that's where my fries are going, that's where my right, fries go. Right, right. <laughs> Straight to the belly. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So that's all you have to do to prep your baby bodysuit. Okay, now we have a four by four hoop. And I'm gonna put this back together because I'm gonna show you a little trick. I know, I know, everyone knows what I'm gonna do, but I have to show it again. Um, for a sticky back stabilizer. And I that big because I thought it was for a five by seven. I know, we're used to doing that. Ooh, I almost sneezed. Okay, there we go. Sorry, quick commercial break while I... <laughs> she cuts the stabilizer. Cuts the... Just a little too big. A little too big. What stabilizer are we using? We're using Wash Away Sticky Back Stabilizer. You want Wash Away because if you're going to use this on a baby or whatever, um, you don't want it to irritate their skin. So, all right, Wash Away. All right, so um, normally we would hoop this. You would take out the inner take hoop. Take out the hoop, 
put this in, put the inner hoop on, and try to finagle it. But you already know. You <laughs> are press it in. <laughs> and then you run the risk of it popping out, which is the worst, yeah. right? So here's a little trick for you guys. I know I've taught this in other classes too, but it still gives people the aha moment. Okay, so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the entire piece. I'm gonna lay it flat. And <laughs> try to not get it stuck to your fingers. Yeah. There we go. And I'm just gonna put my hoop right on top of this and press. I know, I know. You guys are probably thinking, what are you doing? Trust me, I've done this a yep. lot. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna fold the corners over. Okay. And voila, you're ready to go. Yep. That's seriously That's all you do. That's my little hack for you guys because um, many times I have done sticky back stabilizer and I have popped it out of the hoop because uh, it's hard with the paper. So uh, that's my little trick for you guys. Okay, so um, you just take off the paper completely, put the hoop right on top. Make sure you have the inner hoop in there too. Don't forget that. <laughs> and then you can fold the corners over. Super fun. All right, so we're gonna head over to the machine and the first thing that we do um, is we stitch out the centering crosshairs. And this is a separate file from um, the design file that this does just a little um, plus sign right here, a little crosshair uh, design in order for us to make sure we get our project centered. So no more guessing, you guys. I, I'm just so grateful for that from Kimberbell. No more guessing. So it's gonna just do one stitch right here and then um, we'll get right into our project. So, all right, we'll go over to the machine now. To get a new needle. Oh, we need a new needle. And let us, um, Stacy, what needle are we using for this? Uh, are we using a... We're using 7511. 7511 embroidery needles. Or you could use the 80 20. What is it? 80 80 12. 12. Yeah, because you are going through leather. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've done the 7511 and it's been fine. And we use embroidery needles instead of just universal um, just because they're really meant for embroidery machines. And I feel like they are a little bit more heavy duty. Yep. So, for sure. all right. So I'm just going to. Put my hoop in the machine. I'm gonna move this just a little bit for you guys. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> Gotta remember to put that down. And we're gonna stitch out the crosshair. So, um. Jess, someone was asking if, do you have a good way to clean the hoop after? Do I have a good way to clean the hoop after? Um, yes. So if you're using wash away, you just dunk it in water, <laughs> wash away. Or I have used baby wipes too, or a wet towel or whatever. And you just rub it. It comes off really Real easily. Really yeah. easily. I mean, I've done it on like all of my hoops and they all look still really nice. So good question. Okay. So that's all we're doing right now. We just stitched out the crosshairs. So we're going to come back to our um, table over here. And I actually did this in white. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just going to mark this so you guys can see where those are. You don't have to do this. Trust me. You can see it. But I want to make sure <laughs> you guys can see that. Okay. And I'll hold it up for you too. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. go. So you can see my little blue lines right there. I use white thread. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time I'll use that like that was my my bad. A dark, I put it on a so. darker one. That's okay. So that's where our centering crosshairs are, and uh, we're ready to put the baby bodysuit on. Okay. So if if you look at the pictures, okay. 
right here on step number eight, it says, I can't read that better. <laughs> um, align the baby bodysuit vertical fold with the vertical crosshairs. Makes sense, right? Vertical with vertical. And then the horizontal fold and the horizontal crosshairs will match. Okay? So, I'll go, I'll, I'll show this a couple times because it's easy to peel right off. Okay? So, I have the sleeves. This is what I remember. The sleeves are to the left. And I make sure I have like my 90 degree angle right here. And what I'm going to do is just place that in the bottom left hand corner. So I'm gonna line up my vertical fold with the vertical crosshair and then the horizontal crosshair with this fold, okay? And I'm just gonna give it a good press and then you just unfold it one step at a time. So I make sure I'm still lining up against that vertical crosshair, okay? Give that a press. Then we fold it open again, give that a press, but don't stitch yet, you guys. Yes. <laughs> don't switch quite yet. It'll be on the inside if you do that. Okay, and then what you're going to do with the beauty of the bodysuits, <laughs> um, it's open. So I'm just going to roll this open And now I have this flat surface and I have the sticky back. This is why you need sticky back stabilizer, you guys, is to hold this in place and make sure it's completely flat so you're, while, while you're embroidering, okay? And now you can just roll this suit. And Stacy's gonna get my little, or, like, or little like, binding are, clips. Are so then it doesn't Roll I have open. one. <laughs> so nice. Okay. I might have used some on my knee. <laughs> That's okay. One. We will have, we usually have a lot of clips, but I think I used them for my last project. So um, that's how easy it is to hoop one of these. And now you're ready to go to your machine and stitch out the design. And it seriously takes like, I don't know, five, six minutes to stitch this out. It's super easy. I think the hardest part, which isn't really hard, if you follow the follow instructions, because yeah. they have pictures laid out for us to, so we know exactly what we're doing, um, is to hoop this. But once you've got this, it's it's awesome. Okay, uh, Janice, it says we're frozen. I you probably can't hear us, but I would just refresh the browser. <laughs> it, it did pause for us to oh, did it pause for a second? Okay. That's all right. Kathy's on. Oh, Sue said goo gone um, to get rid of the stickiness on your hoop, if you still have that goo gone. All right, so let's go over to our machine and start stitching this out, why don't we? Okay, and we're, I'm gonna do it in blue. Change it up a little bit. Because you've already seen the red. So I'm gonna do it in blue, okay. So let's do them. So let's come over to the machine. We've pulled up our design file for, uh, the small fry and I would just carefully put the bodysuit under your needle don't try to jam it in there just and then you can roll it back up okay and now what it's going to do um, is a placement line of where to put our fries which is really cute okay here we go so it's just a placement line, so I know exactly where to put um, my fabric. And actually, it's super fun with the fries. It actually has uh, Kimberbell's um, foam, uh, flexi foam underneath it. So I'll show that. So it gives it a little poof, which I love. I love that. So. Um, you're just going to place this right on top of your uh, covering the placement line completely. And now it's going to do a tack down stitch for the foam, okay? Okay. 
And it doesn't matter what thread color you're using for the placement line. I just use white. <laughs> but it's all a personal preference. Okay. So it's going to go around twice just to really hold that um, foam in place because we're going to trim it up next. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull this right out of the hoop. And don't worry, Sue, you didn't really miss much. I was just talking about uh, just how easy it is to hoop the bodysuits. So no worries if it was frozen for a second. All right, so now we're gonna come over to our workspace and uh, gonna trim this up. Look how beautiful this is. I love that. Look how. I love it. Okay, so now we're going to trim this baby up and I'm gonna use the flexi snips. Is yep. that what they're called? Mm -hmm. Flexi snips. This is where I love hooping stabilizer this way because I could easily pop it out of the hoop if I did it the other way. Just saying, I have done that many a times. Okay, so now I'm just going to give it a little haircut. And I'm just going to go around first and get the bulk of it out and then I can go into those little crevices. Stacy, what's your favorite scissor out of this set? The flexi snips and of course those are the ones I can't find at home. <laughs> <laughs> like I might have to buy a whole nother set so I can get the flexi snips right, again. Right, right. Hey, those are never, my favorite. You can never have too many scissors. I know, exactly. You can't. Okay, so I just got the bulk out of that. I love these, but I also love um, the duck bill. The duck bill. When I'm doing large embroidery, like when it's intricate like this, that's when I love the flexi. But when it, they're big embroidery designs, I use the right duck bill the most. Okay. I haven't lost those ones yet. <laughs> <laughs> they're awesome. And I was gonna say this flexi foam. It's so easy to cut through. I've used others that it's like trying to cut through cardboard. <laughs> but this is like butter, you guys, like butter, like my mom says. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Just give it a little trim because the yellow fabric will cover it. Okay, that's this is where I like the flexi snips because they're sharp all the way to the point, and I can get into those tough areas. How many of you have a scissor set from Kimberbell? You should all raise your hand. <laughs> and if not, then use your fifteen percent off today. There you go. Some. Get some, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, this is so easy to. But I can't say it enough. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to leave it. I, You could seriously spend forever trying to get it perfect, but it never will be. And that's okay. You're just going to You're just putting material it. over it and it's going to... Right. You won't even You're going to put the material over it. But you can kind of see now. There's they look like fries. They're fries. Okay. So now what it's going to do is a placement line for your fries. So we did the placement line and tack down for the foam. Now it's going to do a placement tack down for the yellow fabric. Okay. So let's go back to our machine. Carefully slide that under the needle and the foot. Okay. All right, and we'll just stitch away. Sybil said she loves the scissor kit. Yes. Cindy said, I got my Kimberbell scissors last week, used the snips last night. Wow, it made doing my project so much easier. I love to hear that. Yes, it is. 
they're just high quality, high quality. Okay, so now what we're going to do is place our piece of yellow fabric, our piece of yellow fabric here. We're gonna place it right side up, completely covering um, the foam and the placement line, okay? And now it's going to do a tack down line, okay? You can tape it if you want, or you can just hold it in place. Okay. There we go. And it's gonna go around a second time to hold it. That's really nice too, that it goes around um, a couple times because as you're trimming, you don't want to pull the stitches, right? So you want to hold it in place for sure. All right. Okay, we're going to go back to our workspace and trim this baby up. And I always say trim on a flat surface. I know it might be a little tedious. So at times you're like, I don't want to get up and move. But, but you got to get your exercise put, in. Right, so. right. Get your steps in. Get your steps in. <laughs> um, but you want to do it on a flat surface just because you, you just don't want it. To fall out of the hoop, you guys. Oh, it's the worst. And again, how do we know this? Because it's happened just oh, before. Oh, trust me. Trying to speed through things. And Get a little too confident, right? Question: Is the design itself the same size for each of the bodysuits? Is the design itself the same for each bodysuit? Yes. Yes, it is. Good question. Okay, and I'm just going to do a quick trim around. And then I'll go into these little areas. But I'm not going to worry too much because it's actually going to do a decorative stitch um, around to outline the fries. Okay. And personally, I like a raw edge look. So you could skip. Yeah, you could. You could skip the decorative stitch if you want. I'm just loving the raw edge right now. I think if you were going to do the raw edge, though, I would do that step twice. Right. To just hold to it. Just to make sure it's secure. To hold it right. So you don't have to follow the directions unless um, Jess tells you to. <laughs> <laughs> there's certain ones you don't ignore, but there's some that you can be like, oh, I want to do it a little differently okay all right so now we have trimmed that up really cute i'm excited to see how this all comes together for you guys okay so now we're going to go back to the machine and um by the magic of tv i already have my thread <laughs> color changed to what i want you guys you all need a stacy you in your life assistant in your sewing room right right <laughs> So she changed it to yellow thread for me. So awesome. <laughs> All right. And now it's going to do a decorative stitch. Okay. All right. And while that's stitching out, let's talk a little bit about um, some other designs that you guys can um, use for the baby body suits or for, for the baby fur. For, for baby sweaters. So we'll come to the table right here and talk about a couple different designs. Um, for those of you, oh, <laughs> thanks, Kathy. <laughs> um, for those of you who know that when um, the bodysuits came out, they came out with, um, well, they came out with this one first. I'll talk about that, but they also came out with this one. Um, nope, not today. I thought that was really cute. If you have a, a I little... I need to put that on just a shirt for, for me. For you? <laughs> nope, not today. So cute. So I want you to look at these designs too. The designs that you have and think, oh, that would be really cute on a, on a baby bodysuit or, you know, something like that. So there's that one. Um, this is so sweet, you guys. This is an older I Kimberbell CD. I love this CD. one. This is one I need to put um, today. 
It is called Little Ones, Born to be Wild. Really cute. And it has just these applique designs. It's not in, like not any projects, but it, um, they are applique designs that uh, there's like giraffe. It says don't grow up too fast. Um, the turtle says slow and steady, little one. I mean, you this can is, put them on body suits, burp cloths. They are so anything. cute. I think we, we always get caught up in the newest Kimberbell, but they have got some really old good stuff that old are really good original stuff. stuff. Love it. Um, we're also missing the CD for this one. It looks like we're out, but it is um, Lil Sprout, right? And it has a little snail that says, mornings make me a little sluggish. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't know that they show you how to do the, how to make your oh, the, the burp cloth. Burp cloth. That's cute. So that one does come with the project. Oh, so I did buy that one. Cuddle bug. I was meant to be a little sprout. Super fun. And like I said, you guys, you can get them for 15% off today. And then this is one of their newest ones. This is the CD that came out with the body suits. And it's called The Snuggle is Real. And they these are just so stinking cute. Uh, it says, don't make me call my auntie. <laughs> I think Rachel wants to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah call Kathy. Um, birth. Nailed it. <laughs> um, there's also love you to the moon and back. Miss Wonderful. Love that. So and it says let the adventure begin. So, I mean, there's so many different designs um, that you could put on for these baby bodysuits. Um, and you also get the small fry design, you guys. So... Um, super, super fun. And then, uh, the snuggle is real. It, yep. They have a design for that too. So really fun. Think about that. But if you have a fur baby in your life, I thought, I know these are for mug rugs, but you can skip the part of you making, constructing the mug rug and just do the applique design. And what if you did this one? Uh... Where is it? You're like working. Love is a four-legged word. Oh, that's cute. How cute would that be on the back of a, a bodysuit for your for your little fur baby? You know, so I want you to think outside the box, you guys. I want you to think about what you could do. Maybe you can construct something totally different than a bodysuit or a, a sweater for a dog and you come up with something completely different with one of these. Okay, so. I was thinking... <laughs> When my, my kids were little, like my, my, I have three kids, two of my girls, and they were really small, but my boy, he was like sumo wrestler big. <laughs> I think I would change this to large fry. Large fry. <laughs> That's a little large fryer. When you big got fry. those babies with the, those roly polies that I love so much. I'm like, love I think that. I'd put large fry on I love that. that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stacy. it looks like our... We've stitched out the, um, the, the decorative stitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My mind's going crazy. Okay, so now it's going to do a placement line for the, the fry box. And um, I'm just going to do it blue because I'm going to have blue leather. So that doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the placement line right here. Um, Cheryl asked for a dog. Would you embroider on the back instead of the front? Yes. Well, that's what I did for my dog. I put the design on the back of the onesie. So I, in, you kind of have to think when you're hooping the. Uh, project you have to do everything the opposite of what it was saying all right um, but it's really easy and uh, really cute unless you want it on the front that's totally up to say, you. unless you have one of those dogs that likes to lay on his back and have his tummy up all the right time. <laughs> right okay so I just hit the placement line and now I'm gonna take my leather um, which is really nice quality embroidery leather. I love it. And I'm just going to place it right side up, completely covering that placement line. Okay. And I'll talk a little bit about how to get a nice cut on the leather. 
I know people had some questions about that, so. There we go. And I like the color we chose. It's a little bit darker than the uh, embroidery it leather. It kind of out a little bit. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna take this out of the machine bring it to a flat surface and we're gonna trim this up. So here's a few tips I have when cutting leather because some of you ask, well, I don't want the white to show. It's gonna be inevitable. Yep. <laughs> That's just how it is made, all of that. Um, but the tip I have is to use really sharp scissors, small scissors. So I. I wouldn't use the duck bill for this because it's such a big piece of, right. or it's such a big scissor head. <laughs> yeah, big whatever this is called. <laughs> right, right. And it's hard to get into those. So this is where I would grab my flexi snips and I'm just going to cut as close as I can to that. But when she's cutting, she's not like closing the scissors I'm all not the way. closing the scissors because if you do that, you'll get the little sharp points along the way, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not closing the scissors all the way, okay? I'm gonna go out a little bit more. So I'm just letting it like ride along like the middle to um, edge of my scissors okay so don't um, cut it all the way to the point okay except for when I cut the, <laughs> the bulk off right <laughs> okay and you can kind of clean that up I need to go this way And the nice thing about this too is you actually are gonna do a decorative stitch around it. Okay. All right, so you can kind of see if I were to, I'm not, I'm not too crazy about this, but if I were to just snip it all the way to the edge of the point, you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to see on this, but you can kind of see um, the white come up. So that's where I recommend not to cut all the way to the to the point of your scissors. Yeah, don't close it all the way. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like that because I am going to do a decorative stitch around and it kind of sinks the uh, leather Edging. into yeah. into the fabric, okay? So that's a little tip I have for you. Um, if it really bothers you, you could find a marker that is close enough. I, I just worry about it bleeding on the yep, I do too. on the thing. So and if you look at this one right here, you can tell like you, you can't really can't see, see mm -mm. any of the white. Nope, nope. So or there you go. Work. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> honestly, you can't. I can't see any of the white. I really can't. So, um, but there's a little tip for you for that. Okay. All right. So let's go back to our machine, and we're gonna do the decorative stitch now. And I just double check, I don't have anything underneath. <laughs> don't want it to fold yep. under. Yes, the nice thing about the leather is that it is washable. Thanks, Nancy. And it's more of like a candle wicking stitch. I love yeah, it. I love candle wicking. I, I mean, I love satin stitch, but we use it for everything, mm -hmm. right? And so it's nice to see something different. Yep, when Kimberbell <laughs> does something totally different.
And um, we always get asked this question if we should slow down our embroidery machines when we're going through leather. And the answer is no. <laughs> Really, nope. we just go full speed. We go full speed. That's what the embroidery machines were meant to do, right? Um, just make sure you have a good needle. That's honestly that's the majority of the time. If you don't have a good needle, that's what that's what the problem is. And if you're using like the seventy five eleven and then you're it's struggling, then go up do the eighty to twelve. Yeah. So be a needle whisperer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say. But no, I didn't slow my machine down and. Cause I don't have time for that. <laughs> nope. We gotta get gotta get get these bodysuits going. Right, right. Okay, so now it just um, finished that. I'm, I'm gonna show it up on the camera. It is really it's so pretty. Cute. I love the turquoise. Look at that. Or teal. And it's hard to tell, but this is poofy <laughs> right here. And then the leather has its own poof to it as well. So. But isn't the teal and the peach like a really good contrast? I think they go really well together. Okay, we're moving right along, you guys. And then we've got some fun stuff to discuss. I'm so excited. I was really excited for Embroidery Club today. Well, I always am, but today especially. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna fold that up. And now it's going to do a placement line for uh the little strap okay so for the blue kit um it comes with the white strap but for the red one it comes with the blue strap if that makes sense <laughs> okay so i'm actually going to change my thread to white for for the little strap there oh too bad i didn't have my little helper I magically know, I like, do this right <laughs> didn't know where you were going no with, <laughs> with the next color i'm totally kidding all right okay so now it's just going to do a placement line for my white leather okay so betty jo says epiphany you could use the design on a t-shirt and just have the have it say fry day always a good day yes i like that fun okay but now i want to change my thread to red because it is going to do um the little heart in the middle and i want that to stand out i don't want to do it in white so i'm going to change or sh should i do yellow or red do red well, i'm going to do red i like red it's bold Okay, so I just did white, so then it doesn't show behind this for the placement line, but now I'm gonna change it to red. There's only like four color changes, you guys. It's all good. Okay. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna place my white leather right on top, covering that placement line. And now it's going to do the tack down stitch as well as the little heart in the middle, which is really cute. So cute. It does like a triple stitch around it to really hold it in place, I love it. Do we have any questions about like embroidery leather or the body suits? The needles, thread, I mean. I'll just have Stacy answer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so now we're gonna take it out of the machine. Okay, just carefully slide it under there. Look at that, really cute. So let's go trim this up. We're gonna go back to our workspace. Jay, Jay and Pamela says, I've seen a t-shirt that says exercise. I thought you said extra fries. Oh, <laughs> extra fries every time. No exercise. <laughs> <laughs> exercise, what's that? What's that, right? Okay, so now I'm going to trim this up. And the nice thing about the white leather is if it's I mean, if I don't get it perfect, it's okay because it's white behind too. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, and once again, I'm not um, closing my scissors completely when I'm cutting this. Is the embroidery letter washing machine in cold water? Is it what? Okay, say that again. Does it wash in cold water? Um, I it'll think so. It'll, I think so. It should say on the package. We have embroidery leather somewhere. Yes, it says machine wash cold. There we go. Do, do not tumble dry. Do not bleach. Low iron. There we go. Okay. So... I've trimmed that up. Look how cute that is. Oh, good choice, Stacy, with the I red. I love the red. It just gives it that extra little pop. Pop of color. Okay. I love it. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is stitch out small fry. And I'm going to do it in blue, I think. Or should I do red? I would do red. You want to do red? Okay. What do you guys think? Blue, red. Blue, red for small okay. fry. We're taking a quick poll here. Type away. All right, I think it's way cute. And you could trim this up a little bit more if you want. And then again, you can always, you know, change the words if you, you know, yeah, you don't want small you can fry. Skip that. You can put large fry or extra fry or. <laughs> Exercise? No. <laughs> extra fries. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna trim that up a little bit. Okay, people are saying red. Red, orange, red. Okay, we'll do red. Thanks for doing right. The jury don't has have spoken. To change the thread for her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real reason. Nah. Okay, so we're gonna come back over here. This is our last step, and then we'll be done. And then we just have to sew up the sides. But I think you guys can figure that out, right? <laughs> it's really easy. You just match them together and pin. So, but if you want to make it into a fur baby thing, you just cut off the bottom edge where the snaps are and then hem that. So, small oh, you thighs. could also say small thighs. <laughs> that's funny, Deanna. Small thighs. Well, that's where Which my, I don't That's have. where my fries go. <laughs> Really cute. Okay, so while that's stitching out, we'll come back over here and I'll show you. <laughs> you found my little. I found her bottom half that she cut off. Here's the bottom from. half that I cut off. So see, I only did right up to the, to where it meets right there. So. I'm dumpster diving. That's hilarious. <laughs> I would have thought they would have taken that out by now. I'm dumpster diving. Dumpster diving. There we go. So I just cut off the bottom. And I hemmed the edge. Okay. So, Stacy, do you want to tell us what we do? So, we're letting that stitch out, but we're going to keep moving on to talk about how to finish it, finish up. it up. Okay. So, you would sew uh, just, I think it was a half inch or a quarter. I, you know what I did? I just followed the edge of That's where it was serged. Yeah, exactly. Or if you have a serger, serge it. Oh. Which I should have done, and I didn't think go. about it. You just sew up that side, and then you're just going to wash the stabilizer away, which is what I did, so you can't see it now. I just followed the instructions on Kimberbell. I think it's like warm water or cold water. I can't remember. One of the two. Yep, and I just let it air dry. And then Kimberbell has this wonderful stuff called Silky Soft Fusible Back. Which and is awesome. It's so, let me feel that. It's super soft, you guys. Like This side is super, super oh soft. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so what do you do with that? And there's then a there's a bumpy, bumpy side? side and a soft side. And I just cut enough to cover where those stitches are. Oh, so people, so the baby's going to feel the soft this side. Soft side. And so not you're covering the bumpy stitches. All of that. Because, you know, we don't want bumpiness against oh our skin. Oh, my gosh. It's lightweight, fusible woven for sheer silks and other lightweight fabrics. Ideal for sensitive skin. See? Right yep. there. Covers uncomfortable seams. Silky soft, usable backing. So then all you do is you just take it over to the iron and 
I'll iron this on for you. Iron that up? I'll move my mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. It really does cover and it like adheres to all of it. And you can't really, like, can you feel like the... I can't feel the stitches. Here we go. I can't feel that. And you can't even feel like where it like... Ends. Ends. Oh my goodness. So it just covers those stitches and it's just great. She's going to bring it over because... I want you guys to see this. So I just put my iron right on top. So this is the back of the design, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and give it a, a press, a nice press and oh my gosh. But you can't, like, you can't even see, like, what, you can't feel where it, the edges. That is amazing. So that is Kimberbell um, Silky Soft Fusible Backing. 15% off today. Woohoo! That's awesome. So now, and it's not going to wash off. I mean, you've already adhered it. Mm -hmm. to, it's. It'll stay. It'll stay. And then it's ready for the baby or the fur baby or whoever. You could make yourself one too <laughs> on a t-shirt. Oh, well, mine would say large fry then. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. And what a great idea to put this stuff on it too. And then they just snap, snap together. So they have sizes three to six months, six to nine, and nine to 12 months. So there's three different sizes, two different colorways. I mean, so easy. That is the June fill in the blank. I love this one. Like I said, this oh is one my of my gosh. favorites. Oh my gosh. Stacy, you did a good job. <laughs> that is so cute. and. That feels, I know, that feels so, so good. nice. Oh, I, I you'd have to put this on. Oh yeah. You you couldn't just leave it. You'd have to put it on because it's yeah. It feels so Isn't nice. Cute? Oh, love it. There we have it, you guys. That is the June fill in the blank. Um, really excited. What do you guys think? What do you think about that? I have a bunch of these to make because I have a friend. I. My daughter's friends are all having babies right now. So I'm like, okay, now that it's come out, I can make them for other friends. I love it. I love it. So um, let's talk a little bit about... Should we talk about Stabilizer Lab? Yeah, let's talk a little bit about Stabilizer Lab. And then we'll also talk about the next design for July, which we're really excited about. So we'll come back up to the... There we go. Um... Adam's fixing our camera real quick, but I was like, what's going on over there? <laughs> it's all good. We're done embroidering, so we, we don't need to worry about it. Um, all right. So what is today, Stacy? June 1st. June 1st. Tuesday. I'm setting you up. For I'm like, um, <laughs> She's last like, what? Day, last day to sign up. Last day to get the early bird pricing of Stabilizer Lab, club. you guys. I was say club. Lab. Lab. Not club. Because we're lab, lab members. Okay, and for those of you who may not know what Stabilizer Lab is, let me give a little rundown. Um, Gosh, that's so cute. Sorry, I'm I know she's like, seen some pictures. I'm seeing some pictures that you haven't They're seen. They're not yet. up yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, They're cute. really cute. Um, so, for Stabilizer Lab, it is a four-month subscription. Um, we we started signups in May, but classes start June through September. Mm -hmm. So they actually start in two days you guys in two days is the stabilizer lab kickoff party super excited okay what is stabilizer lab you get a, a monthly class from chris for four months it's pre-recorded she goes over everything um about stabilizers you guys i think there's a, a lot of times we're like when how I like why questions and i'm like um, let me look at it why do we use that yeah, right exactly why would i use uh this <laughs> this fusible silky soft backing or what when would i use um the sticky, the sticky back or i mean well this like just, the you've got your wash away sticky back and then you've got your tear away sticky back what are the different when ways do, mean? when and when do i use those right like, 
Right, like what, is, what would I use light tear away for? What would I use medium? What would I use heavy? I mean, she's gonna answer all of those questions and more um, during Stabilizer Lab. And so each month, we're gonna focus on a different set of stabilizers for that month. So I think we'll, we'll do cut away one month, we'll do uh, tear away and wash away, and then the, uh, Probably the, the specialty. The specialty ones, yeah, ones. I'm like, there's another person. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna do that each month. And uh, not only do you get that class for life, which is gonna be a huge resource to all of you, I, I oh, think. Oh, I'm gonna learn a lot, I'm sure. So much about it. Um, she's gonna show you different projects she's used it on or what you would use it for, all of that. Um, you also get, this is a killer deal. You get 25% off all stabilizers during the four months. So, um, so if we're doing wash away or the blue label -y ones, yep. that month you get 25% off. off. You can stock up, you guys. There's no other time you're going to get a better discount on stabilizers than, than during that time. Mm -hmm. So for the whole month, you get 25% off cutaway. Then the next month, you get 25% off tearaway. Um, all of that. So we switch it up each month, 25% um, off, whether you want pre-cuts on the roll, um, if you want 20 inch wide, or what is this, 12 inch wide. Um, that's what, I'm you can, That's what I'm stocking up is when we get I that know, discount. I know, but so. seriously, when else are you gonna get a better discount exactly. on stabilizers? Exactly. Never, you guys, never. So, um, we'll talk about um yeah the different stabilizers you get the discount you also get entry into a private facebook group with other lab members yeah. which i think is super fun um and you can join that group you can ask questions post pictures anything it's just going to be a good resource for you we do keep that for the four months and then a month after um we're done um we'll move on to something yeah. else. So we're really excited about that. But then also, I, we're really excited about this. You will receive three exclusive designs from my girlfriend's quilt shop, um, three machine embroidery designs. And not only three designs, but they each come in three different sizes. And I'm looking at one right now and I'm like, They oh, are so cute. So I, I wanna do that. a little teaser um, we can make the picture bigger if you want, Kathy. I, it's, it's all good. Yeah, uh, just I, I, I cover me. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. This is just a sneak peek of what's coming up. Need I say more? Super cute. So this one says stay golden. All right. Um, this is a design that you'll get. And then the next one I, I think is my favorite. Oh, it says busy stitching and it has little bees and we're going to have patterns for you guys on how to oh, um, put these projects together and how to take a Kimberbell blank tote and turn it into another kind of bag and basket. I mean, it's really fun. So, um, and then we have so one more, cute. but I, we didn't have time to stitch it out for this, but there's one more coming out that I'm really excited about. And that is just for June, you guys. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I gotta call Carolisa. I yeah, get signed sign up, up for that. Um, so that's just a little sneak peek of what's coming up for Stabilizer Lab, you guys. It's gonna be so fun. Three different designs in three sizes each, and they're all um, girlfriend exclusive designs, so you won't find them anywhere else. Um, and I, I don't know. I just, uh, it's just going to be a party, you guys. Not only are you going to receive really cute designs and all of that, you're going to receive superior education. And my mom's probably going to laugh by me saying that, but <laughs> I'm serious. No pressure. She <laughs> has, she has a plethora of knowledge. Oh yeah. And, um, I mean, she gets the inside scoop from Kim Ball too. Say, she also has connection to Kim if she has questions. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it is awesome. So, uh, what you'll, um, sign up for today is so we started signups in may and it's 19.95 per month for four months um if you sign up today by the end of today yeah 
Today's the last day you get $19.95. After today, it goes up to $34.95. So seriously, I'm getting on the phone. You have to sign up today if you want to get in that um, early bird pricing. And then you can join us on the 3rd, which is in two days for the kickoff party, which I'm really... What time is that up? That is a good question. All <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. 9 a.m.? 11 a.m. Oh, 11 a.m. That's right. 11 a.m. Um, Facebook Live. Facebook Live Mountain Daylight Time. But in... Is that in the no? Is that in the group or is that Facebook? nope? That's for everyone. For everyone, and yep. then the actual lab part will be in, in the, the private group. group. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good questions. So, um, <laughs> oh geez, Jess, I know <laughs> you are seriously so knowledgeable. Yep, Chris, you, you are got this. a fountain of knowledge. I, I just I can't get over it. So, um, you'll. Like I said, you guys, today is the last day to get in on it for $19.95 per month for four months. So lock that in because you don't want to, I mean, I mean, look at $34.95 is still a great deal for all you're getting, but I want you to get in on it for $19.95. That's what I want. Yeah, I'm so. like, that's just those two designs. I'm like, those are crazy. I know. Those are so cute. And the third one's really cute too. Yeah. I just didn't have time to stitch it out. <laughs> <laughs> we made the other projects, but um, really, really fun. So. Uh, Kathy's going to put a link to the Stabilizer Lab to sign up for that. So register today um, and you will pay for May and June today. I want to make that known because it started, it, uh, oh, okay. sign it up like started in May. May June. Okay. I'm sign fine. up started in May and it renews on the first of each month. So you're going to do two payments and then you'll pay for July and then August. So you're paying 40 bucks today. And then it's nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five. Yeah. The yeah. last two months. So, but it's still you're paying nineteen ninety five. Yeah, exactly. Because you're going to be paying months. forty bucks, thirty nine ninety five, after today. So right. Pay it now. Right. Can you explain? They said can um, yeah. confuse says nineteen ninety five to sign up. Yes. So the um, the sign up fee for it says nineteen ninety five. The sign up fee is May's payment, and then since it's June. Um, June 1st, you're paying for June's payment, and then you won't be charged until July 1st and then August 1st. And it says that all in the description. I wrote it all out for you guys. So, um, let's let's see. What? Any more questions? I want to see the ones you Oh, get. the one that I just did. Yeah, the two. Okay, I'll show oh. you the finished. Well, almost there's finished. That one. So there's the gray, and then here's the the peach. Aren't those cute? really cute i love both versions so there we go and yes you won't be charged in september you pay may through august but classes start june through september it says it all there on the description in the product page i wrote it all <laughs> out for you guys no worries but um yeah sign up for stabilizer lab but also, I want you guys to get a head start on the July fill in the blank from Kimberbell. So we're going to put a picture one. up for this. I love them all. Every month, I'm like, oh, I love this one. And you guys, you're going to die when you cute. see it. It is, a, it's the home of the blooms pillow. And this is actually a pillow blank. A pillow blank. A pillow blank. What will Kimberbell come up with next? So fun. So it's it is right? pre quilted. The oh, zipper is already it. installed. It's actually an invisible zipper. So what? when you zip it up, oh, you don't squeakiness. see <laughs> you don't see the zipper. And um that Sign applique design that is one just too. so oh. sweet. I just love I that. Love so that. you bet your bottom dollar I'm signing up for that right now. So what you do with fill in the blank, you purchase the blank beforehand to make to ensure that you get it because we only have a limited number of blanks and once they're gone, they're gone. You can't get the yep. design anymore. So that's why we say um, order it ahead of time. We will send you the blank, but you don't receive the design until July 1st. And it says it's all on the product page in the description. Um, we're, we can't release the design to you until July 1st, but definitely um, order your blank and, and receive it um, before they all run out. So 
you all have been with us. We've already done six months of this, so you're already familiar with how this works, but I just wanted to um, reiterate that. And you'll need a six by 10 hoop for the pillow. I do want to mention that. It's six by 10 or larger. Yeah, six by 10 or larger. You can always go bigger. Yep. Um, the size of the pillow, that's a good question. I'm not sure, but um, they will, uh, I'm sure they'll have instructions on how to do a pillow form too or something. Yeah, like oh, for sure. We'll talk about it in our embroidery club, so no worries. Okay. Yes, it, ha it w has to be done in a six by 10 hoop or larger, so. Oh my gosh, I just like in love with that. Oh. Can it be July yet? <laughs> Let's just skip I June. No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kathy's like, no, I need to do June. I need to do June too, but I want if you don't to have do six July. By 10 hoop, the version is okay, if you do not have a six by 10 hoop, the sewing version is available too. So you still can get the design, you guys, and yep. still get the blank. And you know what? If you don't want to put the flowers on it, you could put something else. You guys think beyond yep. what the original project was, right? There's so, so many things you, you can, can do. You can do the sewing version, which is super easy. It's just applique. Yep. So, yeah, super fun. Um, and they are $16.95, and that um, gets you the blank and the design, which is awesome. So I'm awesome. I'm like, place my order. I got a lot of ordering to do yeah, today. Yeah, Stacy. <laughs> I've got your list going. I'll, I'll <laughs> remind you what you need. <laughs> got it written down. All right. Um, so that's just a little bit about what's going on with the Kimberbell fill in the blank stabilizer lab. But I also want to mention while I still have all of you on here, um, it's our birthday week next week. That's right. Next Monday is our birthday week. We're celebrating 10 years, you guys. Oh gosh. I was I was 14 when we started this shop. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Yep. And Rachel oh. was four. <laughs> this is all Rachel's known. I, <laughs> seriously, Rachel, this is all she's known is the, is the quilt shop. And that's why she has like 17 moms. Yep. And she listens to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yep. Um, so we're celebrating 10 years, but I want to mention it is not just any birthday celebration. It is a girlfriend birthday extravaganza, you guys. We have so much going on next week. Isn't Let, that when you're revealing Tug? We are revealing Tug on Monday, June 7th, during 3 at 3, so which fun. we're really excited about. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I, I just wish it was June 7th already. Yeah, is it next Monday? I just, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, so we're going to re reveal Tug. We're giving away three sewing machines. Did you we know that? Three. Oh three. Three. So one from Handy Quilter, um, one of their sewing machines that they have, one from Baby Lock, and one from Janome. So each of our oh, machine man. vendors are giving away a sewing machine for our 10th birthday. And then I'm going to start listing off people that have... Um, have donated prizes to our birthday week and let me tell you it's all together it's thousands of dollars of worth of stuff oh. you guys we better be really busy next week we should see everybody's faces that are local right in the shop yes and then come celebrate with hear us about all of you guys who aren't in the shop local yes online. yes we want to see so let me just list off some names of people that we've received some prizes for that we're going to be giving away next week so we have put on my glasses lori holt so kind of wonderful cluck cluck so not in thread handy quilter janome baby lock poppy cotton hemingworth 10 sisters amy smart kimber and bell she just keeps i keep scrolling scroll. quilty love Karina Gardner, um, E. E. Shank, Maywood, they do Kimberbell, Kimberbell fabrics. fabrics. Um, by Annie, Stacy West, Clover, the Aliso Irons people. Aliso. Gosh, I'm so excited. Glide, Thread, Moda. And I mean, the list, I, I can keep She's going on scrolling. and on. I keep going on and on. But I'm just telling you, you will not want to miss next week at all you want to be on our facebook page every day next week in order to get in on these prizes giveaway i mean 
deals. We're going to have some awesome specials going Excited on. Excited to see what's going oh on. Oh my gosh. And then we're, we're revealing Tug, which I can't just it's gonna be fun. contain my excitement. You're going to so, like. Yep. Yes, yeah, Sue said, wow, that is an amazing list of vendor prizes. I know, you guys. I, 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 I'm just so grateful. They have been such good friends to us over the past 10 years. It, they didn't even hesitate. They're like, absolutely. Oh, yeah. We will definitely um, donate. So I am really, really excited for that. And um, we'll also give away some other things from girlfriends. So yep. we're pumped you guys so that starts june 7th next monday um we're revealing tug at three at three on monday and we're gonna have uh, giveaways all day every day next week 7th through the 12th so, so fun really fun i wanted to mention that because i want you all to be there for sure for sure all right if you live too far away from utah that's okay you can come visit us yep hey we're open. We're open all the time. <laughs> Beautiful weather. It's hot, actually. It's actually hot today. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, why do I wear long sleeves today? wasn't right. thinking. Right. Okay, you guys. So, um, visit us at both stores because we're going to have specials going on at both stores. Next week, we'll have balloons, cookies. I don't know. We'll have... I'm just cookies. Well, I don't know. I just threw that out there, but now we are. <laughs> First, now we're having cookies. <laughs> <laughs> something, something to celebrate, you guys, because it is a big deal. Ten years, and we honestly wouldn't be here without you guys. After last oh, year, like it's we just amazing. had no idea. It's amazing how what was going to happen next. So, just blessings. I know. Lots of blessings. I know. It's so awesome. I love all, right. all the hearts going up. Oh, I know. It makes me feel good. Road trip. Yes. Yes. Road come, trip. Come visit us, you guys. We we have a lot of fun here. So. Oh, we do. All right. Well. And we are going to miss Jess. Aw. This makes me so sad right now. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. <laughs> I'm real. I know. I'm like, I'm not going to get emotional. I already have had my tears. Trust me. <laughs> but I am just really excited I'm gonna get emotional so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for like where this shop is going like holy oh, cow yes. it is just growing and growing and it's because of you guys and I am just like so grateful for all of you um, supporting my family shop I oh. mean that is huge it makes me like you know, like as you grow older, you worry a little bit more about your parents. And I mean, I don't have to worry about them. No. They're, they're such go-getters. They're, They'll figure out yep. anything to do. But it's nice knowing that like they're, they're, they're finding success in whatever yeah. they do. And it's like a, a dream and a passion of my parents to, to uh, just grow a community no matter where. Yeah, no matter where you are. Where you are. So super grateful to that. And where am I going? I'm going to Ohio. I'm Ohio. coming. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to come visit you and go to a Buckeye game. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm really excited. So, uh, it's not the end. It's no, not a it's not the end. You, She's, you guys, you guys there's better. It's called airplanes. <laughs> you better bet. I am coming back to visit. I am probably going to do like a three at three special or whatever. My mom's already planning some stuff. Yeah, so. she's, yeah. <laughs> it's she's, all she'll good. She'll still be here. It, yes, I'm still here. Um, Columbus, Ohio, you guys. That's where I'm going. My husband's going to dental school at the Ohio State. <laughs> I have to, I have the. to say the because <laughs> The Ohio. He's got his mug. The you know. Ohio State. <laughs> when it's do you leave silly. then? Uh, less than two weeks. Oh, so gosh. yeah, it's crazy, super so crazy. crazy. But it's been a blast doing embroidery club and Kimberbell events and just classes with you guys. It's been so much fun. Um, and I don't know. You guys are in good hands. Stacy's a good one. She's a good I've one. I've got big shoes to fill. No, with you this don't. One. No, you're. Holy cow. No, you're She's great. Amazing. So, thanks, everyone. Um, maybe, you'll, maybe I'll open a shop. <laughs> Do you feel the tug? <laughs> yes, no. I think my husband would kill me. <laughs> like, we got to get through dental, dental school, school first. and opening a new shop. That would, yeah. 
Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, <laughs> so funny. All her moms would be moving down there to help her right, start it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Well, anyways, you guys, we're gonna sign off because at 11 o'clock is sewing club. So Sandra and Lisa are gonna go through this um, whole June fill in the blank, um, but for the sewing version. And I highly recommend you guys go and watch that too because they give a lot of great tips and tricks for applique, um, how to um, sew with leather. Um, it's it's going to be good. I'm going to watch it too. So, um, all right, you guys. So, don't forget 15% off everything machine embroidery today uh, with the code Embroidery Club 15. Stock up, you guys, yep, and don't up. forget about Stabilizer Lab. I'm, I'm kidding. I kid you not. You do not want to miss out on Stabilizer Lab. You're gonna have FOMO. Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun, and you get those exclusive designs and killer deals on Stabilizer. So, all right, you guys, have a great rest of your Tuesday. I want to say Monday. I know. I'm so lost. Day. I don't. I was thinking yesterday was Saturday. I know. I know, right? He's getting up and going to church this morning, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your Tuesday, and we will see you next month for Embroidery Club, yep. but stay tuned for Sewing Club here in about 30 minutes. Okay, Bye. we'll see ya.